It's Ella from our Artist. As you probably know, the new version of the Corona renderer came out. Today I want to discuss with you some of the main features. There are a few things that I want to talk about, but I will start with the one that in my opinion is the most valuable. So let's begin. I've prepared an example scene before, let's see. I've positioned the corona sun. I added the corona sky as the environment map and I also added the fog to the scene to add atmosphere to this shot. We can start interactive rendering. So this is how this new sun and sky model looks like. I really like the gradient and the way it looks. It's much better and more interesting than the old one. I show you how it looks when we change the position of the sun. It's too bright now. I decrease the sun intensity. Of course, I would need to adjust the post as well, but this is only to show you how it looks. You can notice that it works really nice when the sun is close to the horizon. It creates a really close to nature effect. Let's go back to the previous sun position. Now let me compare the new sky model and the old one, so you can see the difference. I go to the history panel and save this version. Now let's copy the map from the environment map. You can see that we have a new sky model called improved and it's set up as default. Let's change the improved model to the old one. The difference is huge, but let's save it in the history panel as well and compare it. I can show you the others as well, but they were in Corona before. Let's stop the render and choose the clear AB option. Improved model will be A and the old one B. You can see, but not only colors are different, but also the gradient is more visible in the sky. It all affects the whole scene output. So in general, it's a huge improvement and I love it. There are new options in bloom and glare effect. Let's turn this on. So before, it looked like this. So we could get the star shape glare in the frame buffer. We cannot see the effect on the sun as this is not intense enough. Let's increase the value quite a bit. I increase the bloom intensity value too. Something like this. We can adjust glare intensity a bit as well. But the new thing is here. So the Corona team added the custom aperture editor in the bloom and glare effect. Let's turn this on. So we have a base shape here and we can change these values. For example, we can change the number of sides or add rotation. Change the shape by increasing this value. We can check occlusion and adjust parameters here. Look how it's changing. All these values influence the shape of this. We can make it symmetrical or not. We can also add some sort of imperfections to it. Here as well, we can change some values.
We can also add lens scratches. We can change patterns here. We can use random or some specific ones. Or we can add dust. You can test this out and adjust the effect to your needs. It gives a lot of possibilities. We can make the sun less intense now. We can play around with this value and have much more control now. We also have some new materials like carpets, ceramic tiles and flooring. Let's test some of them so we can see how good they are. Let's say this one, carpet nordic sweater. Nice pattern. Let's see how the material structure looks. Nice, we have bump and displacement. The maps are good quality. I increase the displacement a bit. Okay, now it's too much. The value is still too big. It's really nice, I like it. Let's test one more. Why not this one? Whoa, that's really nice. I don't really need to adjust this. I'd love to use it in some interior images. Why not to test some tiles now? Cool, these are quite specific patterns, but they're really nice. I like this one a lot. Let's try some wood flooring. Maybe the first one. We can make some adjustments. Like here, for example, I would go with something more matte. The materials are really nice. Of course, sometimes they will need some adjustments depending on the scene, but I really like them and for sure I will use them in my next projects. I found some concrete texture before. You can notice that some things are repeated. We can nicely adjust our map and improve it in Corona with the use of UVW randomizer. We have this new option here that makes each tile differently transform. Let's say 100. So we can adjust settings here now, the tiling disappears. Let's change this. And this as well. This can be really useful, especially when we are dealing with some large surface. This is really cool and can be really helpful and can solve a lot of problems during the post-production process. Let me show you. So before, the glass will look like this on the wire color pass. Now, we can use a new option, propagate masks. So if we want this as it was before, we'll use never here, and this is as default. We can use only reflections or only refractions or the effect combined. I use always. 
In this case, I will be able to select things that are behind the glass material or the ones that reflect in it. So now, for instance, if I want to select the water, everything will be selected, so the one that is visible through the glass as well. I can see it being really useful in some cases. As I have water and the ice inside, I can do the same for these materials as well. Basically, for all materials that have reflections and refractions. All in all, I really like the new features of Corona. New Sun and Sky model is really nice and it's really cool that we have more control in bloom and glare effects now. Also, I really like the new materials and the options they gave us in masks. By the way, if you are interested in learning visualization with use of Corona Renderer, I'd like to invite you to check out our visualization training where we teach you step by step how to create outstanding images. Click here to check it out on our website. Bye-bye!